What's good, YouTube? I got a fire post facilitator for y'all today. But hit that like button so YouTube recommend the videos. We're gonna get into the build though. We're gonna go center and we're gonna go 611. Take your weight all the way down to minimum. Then your wingspan, you only gonna put that up one. So drop that at 76. Then we're gonna go straight to the speed, right to the acceleration. And my 45 went too fast on that right there. You feel me? 611, 215, 76. So max out your speed, max out your acceleration. And then your vert, you're gonna wanna go 75, 87 on the stamina. And we're gonna hit the defense first, you feel me? So yeah, yeah, for, nah, nah, we're gonna we gonna have to finish him first. We're gonna have to finish him first. So we actually gonna go 93, bro. Yo, on a close shot. Go 93 on a close shot. Going 93, that's gonna give you a Hall of Fame mouse and Hall of Fame Grace. You feel me? So you definitely wanna have mouse on Hall of Fame. And the Grace under pressure, that's a that's a good badge, but at the same time, it's not needed by everybody. Being on this build, bro, you feel me? It is a badge you can use. It's like consistent finisher from 2K20, you feel me? So it's definitely a badge you can use. We don't want to throw that at 93. And your driving layup, you're going to put that at 83. 77 on your driving dunk. And you go right there. Your standing dunk. We gonna wanna max that all the way out, bruh. So you getting 99 on that, bruh. You got Hall of Fame Posterizer, Hall of Fame Rise Up. And those two badges, bruh, they transform your build completely, bruh. You feel me? Cause you could have silver or gold posterizer and you just wouldn't be, you, you would need enough badges. You feel me? On a big man, bruh, you would need enough badges to make up for you not having gold or Hall of Fame, you feel me? But on this build, bro, we got Hall of Fame Rise Up and Hall of Fame Post Rise, you feel me? So that's fire. And with the post badges, bro, we gonna go 85 on the post control. So you maxing that out, you get them all Hall of Fame. And we, nah, hold on, hold on. We gonna go at 86, bro. Take that up one, and we getting one extra badge, bro, you feel me? So we getting 34 finishing badges. To start off the build, bro. Yo, that's some fire, bro. <laughs> yo, hit that like button. You feel me? We gonna go right to the defense and your midi. This is this is not your your ending midi. You feel me? So don't think we dropping it at 43, but we gonna go 74 on the interior. Mark out like that. Your steel rating. You going to put that up at 69. Your block max that out. And bro, yo, having 99 block, you feel me? That's gonna help your interior rating. The interior, I feel like you can get blocks without interior, but interior is what slow down all of those animations, bro. You feel me? So it's pretty much like what I would know, and it is it's a little hard to explain it, you feel me? But what I would know interior is like you can't throw nobody out there animation, bro. Yo, if you see I'm about to get a dunk animation, bro, it's it's a GG, bro. Just move out the way or you're going to get a five on you. <laughs> you feel me? It's, it's like that's that's usually what it's going to seem like. But with that interior defense, bro, you slowing up the animations and that's giving you the window to block it then. You feel me? So if you slow up the animation... They usually going to miss the dunk anyway if they trying to punch it or if they trying to get a layup in the paint, anything. They usually going to miss it, you feel me, because you got the interior on. But your block rating is what's going to make sure you send that, bro. Like, you feel me? So, bro, yo, if you just pay attention to the difference between the uh, the way the game worked this year and from 21, bro, it's, it's, it's a little of the same, but at the same time, it's a little different. We're going to go to the rebounding, though. We're going to max both of your rebounding stats out. So you're getting 28 defensive badges. And that's fire, you feel me? On a post facilitator, this is going to be a top big man build, bro. Not even going to hold you made just like this, bro. You feel me? You got 34 and 28 so far. And that's fire. 
we're gonna hit the shoe in though and we're gonna max out your corner well we're gonna max out the three ball for the gold corner and your midi you're gonna want to put that to 70. so you're getting 18 shooting badges you got 34 18 yo you way overpowered in the paint bro yo there's no way they even gonna let you throw 18 badges for shooting on this build bro like that's crazy you feel me we gonna hit the free throw you're gonna go 78 rock out like that and that's really tough bro for real for, for, for but for that pass act you're gonna wanna go 86 And going 86 on a pass sack, you feel me? You get 13 playmaking badges. You really don't need the speed with ball, the ball handle, you feel me? On a on a big like this, bruh, on a 6'11, you already not gonna really feel the, the difference from like the speed with ball and everything, because you're not gonna be dribbling, bruh. And the ball handle, you're not gonna be dribbling. <laughs> you feel me? So you definitely don't gotta worry about that, but bruh yo look at the badges bruh. 34 and 28 you feel me it ain't no way you gonna have 18 badges in any area after that bruh like that's that's just fire to have 18 shooting badges and 13 playmaking and you really got a good pass accuracy so it's not it's not a catfish bruh you got gold bullet passer you could throw on silver dimer bro that's that's just fire bro <laughs> you feel me we're gonna get to the takeovers though and you got the sharp you got the rim you got the glass and the post bro this is crazy bro you feel me we're gonna go advanced post moves and then you could go with the rim or the glass yo this is fire bro yo you got all of the big man takes bro the rim post and the glass you usually do not get to decide for ball three, bro. Yo, that's fire. You feel me? So I probably say see the future, bro. You feel me? Or you could go. You could probably switch it up, bro. Yo, that's that's really just fire, <laughs> for real, for real. But you got a post facilitator, and we are gonna get right to the badges. Got a whole lot of badges, bruh. So we gonna go bag down Punisher. Yo, a badge like that, I probably wouldn't go Hall of Fame just because you don't need to go Hall of Fame. But mouse in the house, bruh, yo, I feel like we gotta go Hall of Fame. <laughs> you feel me? Because not everybody is gonna be smaller than you that's checking you, but they usually is because the meta not really a 7-3 you feel me in this game a lot of people is running with smaller centers so you might catch a 6-9 or 6-10 on you and just demolish them bro but you also could take this build into any game over you feel me you can go in a park with this and you know somebody smaller than you is gonna be checking you in a park but this we gonna rock out with and bro yo i have been to the park with a big 6-11 hey <laughs> you feel me bro I, I I don't see a problem with it at all. You feel me? He's definitely not too slow. So you you gonna be good on this build, bro. And you minimum weight. But you gonna wanna throw on your fast twitch, mouse in the house, hall of fame, unstrippable, limitless takeoff. You can ride post spin technician, but posterizer and rise up. Flame badges, bro. You got them on Hall of Fame. Even if you're not gonna go rise up Hall of Fame, bro. Gotta go post the riser Hall of Fame, bro. I would go rise up bronze, you feel me? Just cause like the, the Hall of Fame rise up, it's just not a big difference, you feel me? But you could save you could save a couple of badge points like that. Or go gold on that. Then you go bronze on a lob city or silver. You got grace under pressure, silver. You could probably go up on the fast twitch postman technician use silver and that's worth two badge points bro so definitely want to use those silver badges because some silver badges bro on some builds is worth three bro <laughs> you feel me so we gonna uh we gonna use those 
not dream shake though, just a back down punisher and a post spin technician. Then, yeah, you could definitely go Hall of Fame on the rise up, bruh. Put back boss, I go bronze. And you could use another bronze badge. The hook specialist, really, if you use hooks, bruh, you feel me? I don't know too many people that do hook, you feel me? But we could go bronze on a fearless or the dream shake, and that's fire right there, you feel me? For your 34 finishing. You really could throw them on whatever you want, bruh. But those certain Hall of Fame badges, it's just certain badges that you gotta have on, you feel me? But for your blinders, you wanna go silver, corner specialist, gold, and you a post facilitator, bruh, you feel me? So a little different in the play styles, but you're gonna wanna throw on high zone hunter, silver, sniper, max that out. Catch and shoot, max that out, and you feel me? You really good right there, bro. High zone, catch and shoot, yeah, bro. You not wasting nothing, bro. You feel me? You could go down on the corner specialist a little bit, but you really would only be putting that on something like something that's gonna go against your play style. Like, not a go against your play style, but if you playing on this post facilitator like most post facilitators you feel me then this is the perfect bad setup but if you're gonna go a little a, a little bit further out out of the three-point line you feel me throw a badge on like limitless spot up you feel me you'll just be switching it up a little bit different and then i would actually advise you to put on a badge like volume shooter to help you shoot better you feel me so that'd just be opening up another can of whatever they say and everything for me <laughs> but we gonna go we gonna go just getting into something different you feel me it's gonna be a little a little bit longer to explain you feel me but we gonna go go bullet passer bronze on the special delivery needle threader silver you got dimer silver post playmaker you could go silver on that and really yo this this is exactly how i would rock out with this bruh because other than like maybe i could see a reason for going like bronze hold on needle threader is worth three on silver so i probably would go bronze here and then a post playmaker go go but then at the same time you feel me like if you want your passes to get through bruh that needle threader is gonna be where it's at bruh not even gonna hold you but we're gonna go to the defense to finish it off chase down silver interceptor run protector hall of fame intimidator hall of fame rebound chaser max that out hustler brick wall box worm you got did we throw it? Alright, we got an interceptor already. And you want to throw on ball stripper. Then really just max out the chase down. You feel me? And that's fire right there. You feel me? You're not wasting no badges on nothing, bruh. And you feel me? That's a heat, bruh. Yo, this is a versatile build, bruh. For real, for real. You got 34 and 28 in two, two areas, bruh. And 18 and 13 and two other, bruh. That's stupid, bro. <laughs> you feel me? But I'm going to holler at y'all in the next one, though. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. Be easy.